All right, so we are in the process of charging up the Okmo. Rocky is keeping watch and it does appear to be charging. And in case you didn't know, this is the exact same solar panel as a Jackery, except it's green instead of orange. All right, so what we're gonna be doing right now is what's called a pass-through test. So as you can see, the unit is currently charging and I would like it documented that this is 215 degrees. So this thing is actually extremely hot, 218 degrees Fahrenheit. So I went to pick it up and it burned me and it's, uh, it's just really, really hot, 218 degrees. And we're gonna be testing the pass through to see if this air conditioner works while it's charging. So AC on. Appears to be working. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that on for a while. I'll come back in, I don't know, half an hour. All right, so it's been a half an hour and it's still working. One thing about living in the desert, if there is ever an off-grid, you must worry about air conditioning at least four months out of the year. Four months out of the year, if you don't have air conditioning, you're as good as dead. So uh, I guess we will go on to the next test, which is going to be the refrigerator. Okay, test number two, and this is the big one. The refrigerator is a Whirlpool 11.1 .1 cubic foot refrigerator has a 650 watt peak. And if you all remember the Okmo 1000 couldn't take it, let's see if the 2000 can. It has four out of five bars and we're gonna see if it'll go for several hours. So um, as you can see, the refrigerator is on. So here we go. Time is currently 3.25 p.m. Seems okay. Once it kicks on, we'll see how it does. I'll come back and check about every 10 or 15 minutes. All right, folks, here I am a half an hour later. It turned off. It turned off. This is the Okmo 2000. Fail. Okay, so this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna catch it in the act and I'm going to use this watt meter. Last time I spoke with Okmo about how the 1000 would not accept the 650 watt surge. They told me I was doing things wrong. 106, 108. They told me I was doing things wrong and that, um, and I made that video with a negative review. Oh, see, it went up to 767. That's the peak watt right there. 
612, 609. Okay, so the fridge is on and it's only been a half hour and it shut off. So um, you don't want this happening in a power outage, okay? You do not want a $1,500 unit not keeping your food cold. <laughs> you, you don't want something like this to happen. So I'm going to put this on a time lapse and see if I can catch it uh, when it turns off because uh, I don't want them telling me that uh, I did something wrong because it's power on, you saw the peak wattage, the refrigerator is currently on, so here we go. All right, so I actually heard it turn off. It lasted less than two minutes. Um, so obviously this is a product I cannot recommend. It's a 2000 watt unit and you saw the spikes on my refrigerator. You saw the spike of, I think it was 767 watts and it did not hold. So um, again, you know, I, I have the Oakmo 1000 that I made a negative review on and they gave me this Oakmo 2000 in exchange for taking that video off. I am now going to put this video up and there will be no negotiation with the company. So I'm not taking the video down um, unless they offer me $500 in, in, in cash straight to my PayPal account. That's how it's gonna happen. Otherwise, I'm gonna hold my integrity and uh, tell you all that this is not a unit that I would purchase. Now, before y'all go crazy, so this is a 2000. Now, I want you all to understand that I have an extension cord down here, this red extension cord, and I also have this extension cord going all the way across my house. That extension cord powers my TV, Roku box, DVD player, and refrigerator from my Energy Flex. I have never had any problem with the Energy Flex. It has a, this is a 1500 watt unit. Now explain to me how a 1500 watt unit from a different company can beat a 2000 watt unit from Oakmo, okay? I always recommend Energy or Jackery. That's what I'm gonna have to stick to. Um, no problems whatsoever and as usual, I will go ahead and do a couple other experiments and we will um, go through the manual of the Oakmo as well. Okay, so I'm really curious to see if this will vacuum. The Oakmo 1000 would not vacuum um, or power the fridge and this Oakmo 2000 will not power the fridge. Let's see if it powers my vacuum cleaner. Powered the vacuum. Retractable cord. Yes. All right.
right, so I guess we will go over the manual now. And as per usual, we are going to go over the manual or the user's guide for the Okmo G2000. Okay, and if you all want to pause the video to make a copy or see anything about it, uh, please go ahead and do so. Don't put it in water, keep out of reach of young children, especially the 220 degree charger. Don't put it in a high temperature sealed environment such as a car for a long time, so it's no good for your car. Okay. There is one thing that I did want to read to you guys and I'll find it in here in a minute, but I do appreciate that the wall charger works, the car charger works, the solar panel works. So all of that stuff works. Everything works except for it powering my refrigerator. And I would expect a 2000 watt unit, which is pretty much the biggest that they make to power a refrigerator. I have reviewed several 1500 watt units as well as one other 2000 watt unit. Never had a problem. They powered my refrigerator. They did pass through charging, pass through power, no problems. Uh, this one, however, has obviously not reached my expectations. Um, the recharge via the AC DC adapter, 11 hours, that's probably right. And that is quite a long time for charging. I believe that my other ones that are about this big charge in four to six hours, which is about half the time. I did take my 100 watt solar panel that you saw, which I said, hey, this is the same as the Jackery, and I attached the Jackery to it. And uh, a Jackery solar panel and the Oakmo solar panel do go together. They both have the Anderson connections. So that's something that you can keep in mind if you are in fact uh, interested in this product, even after my review stating that it's not something I would purchase. Go ahead and get over here to the instructions it pretty much tells you how to charge it via solar and it's it's plug and play so it's like super easy you just plug it in uh, right there and then it it starts charging it does not tell you how many watts are coming in uh, it just shows the battery indicator and the battery indicator going up and down which shows you that it's charging but it doesn't tell you how many watts it's taking in so it's a little bit hard to factor how long it's going to take to charge. So it's telling you how to plug it, how to turn it on and you saw me doing that. And you all saw that I had the watt meter on. Last time I spoke with Okmo or emailed Okmo, I told them, you know, I've done this a million times. Um, your product is not good blah, blah, blah. Now here's the part that I wanted to read you. Where is it? Some devices that require high current impulse, that's a refrigerator, may not be compatible with the Okmo G2000, even though they do not exceed the power rating of output ports. So my refrigerator, every refrigerator, uh, at least in the United States, has a surge. So it, they usually run on a really low wattage, uh, anywhere from 30 to 150 watts, but there is a minuscule half of a second surge that comes through, and you all saw my surge. I think it came in at 767 watts, so I had it backwards. I thought it was like 650, but 767 watts, when this thing should be generating 2,000, it should be able to work, and it simply didn't work. And this is because of that, this is not a product that I can recommend. Um, and the simple fact that the charger was over 220 degrees, I mean, I think you can fry an egg on the charger. I'm pretty sure. Not 100% sure, but I'm kind of sure. It cannot be interconnected with anything. Uh, it keeps you, it tells you how to avoid short circuiting. But just like with the Energy Flex, it can be connected to exterior batteries to prolong the battery life which is something that I really like with the energy. And the Jackery has never let me down. Now, this thing is on Amazon. And this is just my spare phone, so I'm just using it on Wi-Fi access. But it's about 1450 bucks. So, hey, and the 1000 
is $6.99. Hey, I've got both of them. I'll tell you what, if you're interested in the 2000, I'll give it to you for a thousand bucks, including the solar panel. <laughs> Email me, prepperprincess2 at gmail.com. A thousand bucks, free shipping, it's yours. As for the 1,000, it's 6.99. Hey, I'll sell it to you for 500 bucks, shipping included. Just email me, prepperprincess2 at gmail.com. I'll sell you the 1,000 for 500 bucks or the 2,000 for 1,000 bucks, shipping included. So uh, <laughs> I'm not, I am so never going to get another product review. <laughs> Everybody's going to be like, well, don't send it to her. She tells the truth. Oh, my God. Uh, one thing that, here, I'm going to turn the camera around. All right, folks, so one thing that you might notice about uh, YouTube is that there are not really ever any bad reviews on YouTube. Everything is positive, everything's great. Now, I'm gonna tell you right ahead, okay? This unit was sent to me for free, all right? But I don't make any money off of if you buy one, unless you buy it from me. And I'm totally, it's for sale. I'm not, I'm not joking about that, I don't want it. So um, one of the things about YouTube is that when companies send you these things, if it's a bad product review, they will in a way pay you to take down the video. And I'm not, I'm not playing that game anymore. I did that with a very bad unit that I got a long time ago and they paid me $350 to take down the video. I have the Okmo 1000. Yes, I film in my laundry room and it looks like a fancy office. So. I have the Okmo 1000 still in the original box. It's a piece of junk. It's a piece of junk. I now have the Okmo 2000. I'm sorry, Okmo, but it's a piece of junk. Your solar panel is right on because it's made by the same company as Jackery, but it, it, doesn't, it doesn't follow through. It doesn't do what you're going to say that it does. And I am not going to let my subscribers purchase a product for an emergency situation, an emergency power outage situation that is not going to take care of their needs. What if somebody has a, a ventilator? Somebody's got an oxygen machine. Those use a really high amount of wattage and they have high output, output capacity. My mother used to use one. If the power went out and she didn't have her oxygen, she would have died. I'm not going to let that happen to my subscribers, Okmo. I'm sorry. So for those of you who realize that there are not any negative product reviews on YouTube, I promise you from this point on, unless they give me $500 to take down this video, this video is staying up, okay? And I'm keeping the products or I'm gonna sell the products because I can't use them, all right? Um, and that's the way that it is. I'm not profiting off of this video except for my views. Um, I have not profited off of the unit and I'm very disappointed. I'm very disappointed in the company providing a product like this. So um, for all you folks out there who do product review videos, please from this point on, I made the mistake too, but keep your integrity. Tell people when these are bad products. Just let them know because people should not be spending their hard earned money on these very expensive units that do not work properly. All right, folks, whether you believe you can or you believe you can't, you are right. Prepper Princess out. Very disappointed.